Hi guys and welcome to the Beast Mastery Guide for 7.35. So uh, in this video I'll be going through the single target and the AOE rotation and spells and legendaries and stuff like that. So to start off with legendaries, you always really want to have the chest and your second legend doesn't really matter. I've seen a lot of people work with different builds but they've all gone around the chest for single target. If you want to pump out the most single target damage you've got to be taking parcel tongue. Cobra Shot increases the damage done by you and your pets by 1%, and that stacks up to 4 times. So that's just increasing your all-around damage. And for talents, you want to take Wave of the Cobra, obviously to work well in with um, with Parcel Tongue. So you want to take Wave of the Cobra all the time, because it just works in well with the Legendary, because you're going to be using Cobra Shot a lot to keep up them 4 stacks. So yeah, the chest is really, really good. Next, what you want to take is Stomp, due to the fact that... Um, Further down the line, you want to be using one with the pack all the time. But as you can see, I've got the Soul of the Hunts Master, so it means I get um, Beastial Fury for free. But you always want to be taking one with the one with the pack. But Beastial Fury is just obviously a positive for me because I've got the um, Soul of the Hunts Master. But one with the pack is so good tied in with Stomp because if you can get quite a lot of procs, you're going to be doing so much damage with the Stomps. Which is why, what, I'm, what I'll tie into, for single target, you want to be taking the Shadow Singed Fang all the time. So you see your melee and ranged abilities have a chance to increase your strength or agility. And your auto attacks have a chance to increase your critical strike by 3k. And if you can see, um, one with the pack grants Wild Call a 30% increased chance. So as you can see Wild Call now, your auto uh, shot critical strikes have a 50% chance. Now that will become 80%. So every time you use an auto shot and it crits, you're more than likely going to get a free... Um, Stomp and a free pet and it's just gonna be really really good for you next one's down to you again I just take wyvern because I was doing a bit of pvp Wyvern's good for pvp Binding shots probably better because it's the same as intimidation, but it just does it to more targets For single target you want to take murder of crows obviously it's just big damage even if and especially um, Even if you can't get a reset murder of crows is just better than volley because volley uses up your focus and barrage is just useless So for la your last talent you want to be taking killer cobra um, so that you can use really quick combos when you've got Beast or Wrath. So you can do a uh, Dire Beast, Cobra, and then you know that Kill Command's reset. So you can just do really big damage and dump all that focus out. So for the general rotation, what you want to be doing is you want to start off with um, using Beast or Wrath and then both of your Dire Beasts. You want to do this because every time you do a Dire Beast, it reduces the cooldown on Beast or Wrath. What you want to try and do is hold up um, your Aspect of the Wild. Just hold it up until you've not got a lot of um, not got a lot of focus and Beast or Wrath comes up. So around about now, I'm just going to pop it now so I have really, really big focus going into this. So obviously because I have Beast or Wrath, I'm going to use Cobra and then Kill Command. I've got a proc, so I'm going to use that instantly. Cobra Shot. So that's just the main thing. You want to be using Dire Beast when it comes off cooldown and Cobra Shot and Kill Command. Just on and off cooldown. And uh, Cobra Shot. So use my Dire Beast. As you can see, it's just really, really good. I got some really good procs there, especially tied in with Shadow Singe Fang. It means my auto attacks are going to crit a lot, and I can just you see I can just get really, really big damage out. So you want to make sure though that the first two die beasts you have, you want to you want to pop Beast Raff first, so the cooldowns lowered. So I'm just going to use Beast Raff again, but you just want to make sure you keep up four stacks of Parcel's Tongue all the time, because that's a big bunch of your DPS, and if you lose that, it's really, really bad for you. So now I've got Beast Giraffe up again, so it means my Cobra Shot will reset Kill Command. So I'm just going to use Cobra Shot, then Kill Command, Cobra Shot, and then Dire Beast, Cobra Shot, keep up them stacks, Kill Command, and Dire Beast again. So, let me just quickly dismiss my pets and I'll go through the AoE. So for AoE, there's not a lot of different talents you can take for AoE, it's mainly the Trinkets. So if you go in AoE for BM, you want to be taking the trinkets which are the Terminus Signaling Beacon and the um, uh, Prototype Personal Decimator. You want to be doing this because you're going to be doing a lot, a lot of um, a lot of spells. So it means your Decimator is going to proc a lot because with BM you're casting so many spells on every single GCD and there's not a lot you have to wait for. So the Decimator is really, really good. The same with the um, Signaling Beacon. For talents, what you want to change, you want to change to uh, Dire Stable, due to the fact that you're going to be dumping a lot of focus on multi-shot. 
and you want to make sure you have enough focus to keep on spamming it. So with Dire Stable, obviously you're just going to get a lot more focus to dump out. Next one, obviously you want to take Volley, just, you know, due to the fact you're going to do really, really big damage with your auto attack, and it's going to hit all the targets. And next, obviously you want Stomp, so you can do big damage. And potentially with Wild Call, you get a lot of procs out, which means you have a lot of focus to dump into more shot. And Killer Cobra is just good again, you know, obviously for Kill Command. So if I quickly just display the AoE, so you want to make sure you got the Singling Beacon on your bars. And now you want to pop Beast of Wrath, then the Trinket. And then you want to just use all of your cooldowns, hit everything. And as you can see, the Decimator is just literally just going off already. You'll see the, the little green um, rockets which fly out. So what you just want to be doing is try and keep up your stacks of Parcel Tongue as well on the side. And just use multi shots. So as you can see, Parcel Tongue is about to drop soon. So I'll just make sure I use another... A cobra shot and just keep that up all the time use another multi shot get ready for my um use another cobra use beast or wrath die beast and just keep doing the aoe but as you can see with the decimator and the signaling beacon you're doing really really big dps but yeah so that's it for for um aoe for bm there's not much to it apart from the fact that you've got to make sure you have the right um you've got the right let uh Trinket, sorry. So you always want to have Sad Shadow Singed Fang for a single target. AoE, the legendaries are down to you. You can really use whatever. There's no much really boost your DPS that dramatically. But for single target, you want to make sure you have the Shadow Singed Fang. And for AoE, you want to make sure you have the Termini Signal Beacon and the Prototype Decimator. So yeah, that's it for this video. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos. And comment if I missed anything out. So see you in the next one.